Today's video is sponsored by Alice Closet. So Alice Closet is an anime fashion roleplay game and if you think that this art style is familiar to you then boy do I have a surprise for you. So basically the character design of this game is created by Irina Tanemura who's famous for creating Gentleman's Alliance Cross, Idolish 7, and Full Moon Osagashite. I personally am a massive fan of Gentleman's Alliance Cross and I have the whole series on my bookshelf and it's been on my bookshelf for at least the past 10 years. I'm super stoked to be sponsored by a game that Irina Tanemura drew for and why don't I tell you guys the backstory for this game. So one day, you wake up a mysterious seed where an Alice appears. This encounter opens up the door to a fantasy world. And to find your way back to the original world, you have to embark on an adventure and assume the responsibility of protecting this land with your own Alice as well. So in today's video, I'm going to highlight some of the cool features of this game, including the gacha and dress up feature, the interaction with NPCs, exploration with your Alices, interacting with your own Alice, main story, and the store feature. So let's get started! Let's talk about the gacha feature in this game. So there are several gachas you can pull from and there are also time limited gachas. So why don't we go ahead and start pulling on Forest of Dolls. You can check the prize pool by clicking over there and these are the different outfits you can get from this pavilion. So from this pavilion, I really want the hair, I want the scar on her face, and those skull earrings are really cute, plus the background item and the dolls. <laughs> so basically most of this outfit. Let's go ahead and start drawing. So I'm going to pull 10. Oh my gosh, I got so many items. I got the dresses and I got the hair and I got the scar. Okay, let's continue pulling. So you do get to see the like items as they pop up on the screen if you don't skip. But so far I think I got like all new items if I'm not mistaken. Cause that means I'm literally 10 for 10. Am I 10 for 10? I swear I got that hair before. Am I done this outfit? Oh my gosh, I've nearly done both of the outfits. So six more to go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Have I gotten a dupe yet? I'm so confused. Okay, literally, as you see here, I'm kind of shook. Like, I finished both of the outfits and I'm kind of stoked. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm done. I'm done this outfit. So that actually blew my mind because I thought that we were going to sit here and pull for days, but clearly we didn't. It's like you just pull and whatever item you get, you're gonna get new, albeit that you can't choose it. And <laughs> I'm kind of digging it, I love it. Okay, okay, so I also have some other currencies that we can use, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw 300 here. Let's see, I'm assuming that this is a rare item because it had flower petals around that circle. And then it is like a five-star item. Oh, the rest of these are materials, coins, and stamina. I also have Aphrodite's attire. So this one I was saving up for a little bit. There's one day left, but I'm gonna finish it, I guess, because I want, really, really want, actually, the wings. Let me go find the wings. Where are the wings? Okay, that's one of the wings that I wanted. Um, but I also wanted these butterfly wings, and let's see if there's anything else I want. As for the other draws, there's Calypso's Closet. So for this one, you get tickets from completing some story stages and you also can spend gold. And they're really cute. Like, look, they're animated. There's like different styles over here, as you can see. And yo, this one looks like CL, if you know what I mean. And for this one, I didn't really understand what it was. You get portraits and you can use them in the gallery. So, so far I only have one of them. There's like different portraits of the NPCs of this game. So I got like one of Salen's pictures, but yeah, this one is not too much of a priority for me as much as Aphrodite's attire is. So I'm gonna draw 10 and I love gachas. Like gachas are the bane of my existence, however, I love playing them because the satisfaction of getting new items and like super rare items, that's like a joy that can't be replicated by anything else. I see that I have rare items with the petals around the embroidered. I got the wings! Are you kidding me? The luck in this game, I don't know if it's my luck or I don't know if it's like the game, but the fact that like I went through the whole prize pool and I'm like, I want this, this, and this, and I get this, that, and that. I'm like, what's going on? Okay, so the wings I got, can't wait to use that after. I think the rose thing over there, like the one I'm, no, I got both of the wings that I wanted. I'm actually gonna scream. Wait, this is incredible. There's only two wings in this pavilion and I got them both. 
without even trying like i didn't even use diamonds i used my gacha tickets so basically like what also um i noticed that if you get a dupe the circle aura around it is pink but then if you get new items then it's blue oh it got two wings you're kidding me okay okay so let's continue on with the pulling i just want to see what's up because like so far the sketch has been amazing and this time i basically got one two three four five rare items <sighs> i love pavs let's go let's go Let's see what I got here. Oh, you can get these gacha coins in order to exchange. If I really wanted this, I could exchange it technically. Hold up, can I exchange the wings? I kind of love how they let you do that. And these are items from the prize pool. I could exchange the wings if I didn't have them. <gasps> what? Okay, and I love all these background items. I'm gonna go to the dress up place because I want to see what items I got new. So the wings, I'm saving this set right now. She's mine. And then let's see the hair. Oh, it's so cute. I got the scar that I wanted, but I will put that on someone else afterwards. I just wanted to see my other wings. So these are my two wings. One thing I really like about this game is that not only can you change one of your Alice's, I can change different types of characters. This is my Alice, she's called Sakura. And then we also have Iris over here. I wanna go ahead and dress her up. Her theme was kind of blue, but I might change that up just because like, come on, we just got some new items and I really want to start playing with them. So, but I do really, 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 really want to put new hair on her. So which hair, this one or this one, this one. We have her shoes and I want to put those black wings on her because I feel like it matches. Yes, it looks so cool. And then I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to have those dolls. I'm going to have this one over here, this one or this one. No, this one matches more and then maybe some feathers falling and she has her little iris doll beside her which is really cute she looks really stacked right now so this one i dressed up as more of like a schoolgirl type of outfit however i have received new items and i would like to use them immediately so this is gothic lolita type of outfit um that coat actually matches exceptionally well to my surprise gonna have those socks and then we're gonna change it up with these shoes she looks like one of those dolls like the porcelain dolls that you see in those haunted movies but you know i dig we can give her those wings as well just because you use some items on the other alice doesn't mean that you can't use it on this alice i have like two kind of gothy looking girls there's also a feature where you can actually talk with the npcs well quote unquote talk with the npcs and they can send you messages or even voice notes or calls so earlier i did miss a few of the calls that's because I was trying to set up my recording but then by the time I was able to record it they left a voicemail so I'm like okay so normally you would be able to hear them speak but I'm not able to show you that because I'm connected with my recording device as you can see here they're like leaving me a voice note so I can hang up on them as well but I can also talk to them so for example living in a strange place must be tough for you so I can respond here and then I could say I'll head around soon so send it's kind of cool like this is a very neat aspect of the game that I think is pretty unique to a dress up game and i love how there's like a red it's red almost instantly so it's pretty funny overall like you get to talk with your boys and your other people so yeah that's a feature i wanted to talk about okay so these are some of the things you can do with your alice so my alice over here she's out exploring and it's gonna take her what like 179 minutes in order to come back and once she comes back i get rewards anyways you can do the same with your other alices you have like four alices at your disposal over here and you can also dress up or explore why don't i just dress up first to see what we can do so this is my alice and i can basically do whatever i want with her in terms of dressing her up so i'm gonna go look at some clothes that i can give her and it's so funny because you can have like a mini one of her out there standing and you can have several background items in your environment so that's pretty cool as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save and leave. And as you can see my changes are reflected at her window so you can see her all dressed up and I'll have her explore as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to go explore Heartland Town with my other Alice. So another interesting feature of this game is that you can actually interact with your at designated time points of the day there are times where you can feed her food so here it's a night snack time now look what we got select your Alice's favorite food I'm just gonna select this one and I'm gonna feed her so she eats it which is really cute and then you get 25 so clearly I chose the wrong one but you get gifts afterwards I guess if you get a good one then she'll like it and then she'll give you more gifts but for this time she gave me 25 stamina 
So let's talk about the main story. The main story is pretty intuitive and as you progress through the stages you have to do little battles and one thing I really like about these stories is that it lets you skip through the dialogue in a way where you don't miss out. So what I'm trying to say is that if I skip here all in one page and I feel like this is such a great compromise to let people who like skipping but are actually kind of interested in the lore to quickly read over the story. So yep, let's go ahead and do that. You can just do hints, you can do quick try on to have all the items put on you already and if you're missing something you can just obtain it and then see how you can obtain it. So for this one I can craft outfits and this is another feature in the game you can do. You can craft it and once you have all the materials as you can see that I do up here you can craft it and then boom you get the item. So I'm gonna go back here and then we're going to quick try everything again and I'm ready to battle and voila I won. So not only do you get gold you also get a lot of different items. Okay, so let's talk about the shop option. This unlocks after you finish chapter 1-9 in volume 1. So here you can see that this is your shop and I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is. Basically, the point of this shop is that there will be customers that are coming and they have a budget. So for Jade Olivia, they have a budget of 1,335 coins. So they want to look for an appropriate hairstyle and you're going to attend to them and you're going to help them dress up. Basically, you're going to look at the hint and it's going to show you that they want something either casual or cute. And also within that budget of 1,000 335 as you can see at the top of the screen. So now I'm going to be clicking on the price. Here you can see that my pointer is clicking here. I'm going to go from least expensive to most expensive. And one more thing, you see this black cat over here on the screen? He looks kind of pissed off right now. If I find a hairstyle that is suitable for the customer, he will look happy. So for example, he has a heart right now. This one was under budget because it's 958 out of 1035 as you can see here. And this one is closer to the budget range. I'm just going to go all the way there because like I can but if I try to pick anything more expensive you can see that Kuro over here he's mad so I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm gonna dress her up so thank you I'll definitely be back I made her happy and I got points for my shop and then sometimes I get coins and other times I get like items and yeah I thought that this was a pretty cool feature I really like this game already there's just so many different options it's like you never run out of things to truly do because there is this exploration tab where you can explore with your Alice's and then they can grab special items or they can grab materials that you need for other things there's the gacha which is really really fun I'm gonna spend more time pulling on that and then we have the workshop where you can craft dye dismantle and doll workshop which is where you can make different dolls there's the home feature where you can feed your alice or like do other things over here with the main story you can also dress her up and then you have your own store where you can attend to customers then there's a garden where there's like a contest a fashion show and a gallery all other things that i can't really get into today and as well as the closet where you have all your achievements of like all the different types of alices you can get i want this one for her wings she is so 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 cute but yeah, let me know what you think about this game and if you're thinking about downloading. At first I was hesitant because it was clearly a different aesthetic from all the other games I've ever played. But then there's like a certain type of nostalgia that comes with this game that I truly love and I think that it's like a breath of fresh air, especially when I run out of things to do and I'm like, hmm, what can I do now? Well, I can spend like five hours playing this game. Thank you again, Alice Closet, for sponsoring my video. I really appreciate the opportunity that you've given me and yeah. So if you like me exploring different type of games, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And to download this game, just use a link in my description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!